Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. So, my name is Ranjit and I am your interviewer for today. So, can you quickly introduce yourself? Sure, sir. So, sir, my name is... So, alright. Can you quickly tell me what is HTML? Sir, it's, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is basically a language uh, used for creating web pages. It decides the structure of a web page basically. Alright, so you said it's a mark hypertext markup language. Na? So can you define what is a hypertext? Sir, hypertext basically is a piece of text which connect two or more web pages. So using a hypertext we can go from one page to another just by a click. Okay, can you tell me what is a doc type? Doc type stands for document type. So it is generally written on the top of the page and it tells the browser that uh, this page is uh, of this type. So it helps in rendering of that particular document. Yeah, your answer was quite understandable. So, can you tell me, have you used forms in your project? Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you tell me what is a form? Generally, forms can be said as a collection of input fields, uh, buttons, text area or radio buttons, etc. So a developer creates a form and it is generally used for taking information from the user and uh, it is generally used for taking the information in a sequential form like a registration form so it has a sequence as well so uh, this was the purpose of form So basically it is used for taking inputs now yeah that's okay let's move on so have you heard about lists? How many types of lists are there in HTML? Sir, there are basically two types. Uh, no sir, uh, there are basically three types of list. First is unordered, second is ordered and the third one is uh, description list. So basically in ordered list, all the items have an index number and the index number is assigned automatically so they have a order in unordered list generally the item doesn't have any order means uh, they don't have any index number with them uh, they generally are represented by a circular dot or by bullet symbols and in uh, the descriptive list can be understood by a encyclopedia where there is a word and there is a description of that word so these were the lists. So you told me about your projects and it's look you have used uh, CSS in it. So tell me what is a CSS, what are its type and in your project what kind of CSS you have used and why. So basically the CSS stand for cascading style sheet is uh, it is used for styling the web pages and uh, making them look more better so basically there are uh, three type of css the first is inline second is internal and third is external i have used the external css the difference between internal inline and external is that internal and inline css are written in the html page itself in which the html code is written so the CSS and HTML are combined in the same web document. It increases the document size. And if I talk about external CSS, then external CSS is generally written in a new document file. So the uh, actual HTML document size is reduced as the uh, CSS code is written in an external file. 
and that external file is linked with the HTML file uh, directly with the link tag in the header section of the HTML file and uh, I have used the external CSS and I found some advantages of it the first uh, most powerful advantage I feel is that using single CSS file I can style multiple web pages and other advantage is uh, regarding the loading of the website suppose I am visiting a website on the internet and that website is using external CSS in that case as the browser will download HTML CSS and JavaScript file from the internet separately and suppose I refresh that HTML page so as I refresh the HTML page the browser will only download the HTML file from the internet as the JavaScript and CSS file are already downloaded so it will take less time to refresh as well as the HTML document size would be less because we have used uh, external CSS in that document so uh, basically using external CSS reduces the loading time or the downloading time of a website okay pretty good so tell me what is a class selector and what is a ID selector and where should we use the class selector and where should we use the ID selector Sir, class selector is used when we want to select an HTML element based on the class and ID selector is used to select an element based on its ID attribute. We use class, uh, class name generally when we want to apply the same property to multiple elements and we use ID, ID when we want to apply a uh, CSS property to a unique element. We know that class can be used multiple times the same uh, name of a class can be used infinite times in HTML and the ID is unique so it can be used once so when we want to apply the same property to multiple elements then we can use class and when we want to apply a single property to a unique element then we can use ID for example suppose I have a form and in the form there are four and five uh, four five input fields and we generally know that in forms all the input fields have uh, similar display similar appearance so if I want to uh, apply CSS property then I will uh, give the class name similar class name to all of the four input fields and then I can easily apply CSS property to them using the same class name so generally here the class is used and suppose I want to style a single element unique element then I would have given the ID name to that element and applied the CSS property to it okay that's fine now tell me what is a JavaScript sir so JavaScript is basically a scripting language which is used for making the web pages more dynamic okay so tell me about the different data types in JavaScript. Data types in JavaScript are number, string, boolean, undefined, uh, null, array and object. These are the data types in JavaScript. Okay. So have you heard about the pop-up boxes in JavaScript? Yes, sir. there are uh, three type of pop-up boxes in JavaScript. Uh, first is a alert box, which is generally used to show alert to the user. Second is a confirmation box, which is uh, generally used to take confirmation of the user. And the third one is a prompt box, which is generally used to take the input from the user. So these are the three pop-up boxes in JavaScript. Okay, it is all. So I feel you have a good knowledge and I'm sending you to the next round. So the next round is also a technical round. So be prepared for the next round. Thank you, sir. So, okay, take care. And it was nice talking to you. Thank you.